Hey guys, Melina here from Melina Hallway Photography and as promised I'm going to show you how to achieve this full autumn effect on your images. This is the image that I edited and this is the image I started with. So as you can see for a comparison, um, I've started with something much greener and not as warm as I'd like it to be. So we'll get straight into it and I'm going to start off by duplicating my background layer and I'm going to come up to image adjustments and replace color. This will give me an eyedropper tool that I can start selecting the greens in the background that I'd like to change. You'll notice here that it's got a fuzziness slider so you can slide to select more of your picture or less. I like to do minimal selections so that I can add a few different colors into the background to make it look more realistic. So I'm going to take my hue slider and I'm going to start dragging it down to find some autumn colors. So I'm quite happy with that one there and I'm going to hit OK. So as you can see, we've started to change the background. We're going to repeat that step and image adjustments and replace color. And you're simply just going to change all the greens in the background to replicate an autumn feel. And the thing I love about this technique is it gives you a lot of control over what you're selecting. So unlike some of the other adjustments that you can use, you don't have to erase um, your subjects or um, erase any color off of things. You're just simply changing what you are selecting. So we keep going. And you can see that it's starting to take nice shape. And again, change some of the lighter ones. And then another way that I like to add color into my backgrounds is your adjustments panel and choosing selective color. So that will come up with a dialogue of colors and you simply choose your layer mask, color range, and it will give you an eyedropper tool to select the greens in the background. And you hit OK, but you won't see anything instantly happen. So that's not until you come back over and click on your color palette. I'm set to neutral, so I'm going to start to tweak my colors in here until I get exactly what I want. So I'm quite happy with that. And I'm going to apply another one. So selective color, layer, color range, and select a green that I want to change. okay and then back to my colors and as you can see there's all different colors there that you can work with but for the purpose of this tutorial I'm just going to keep it simple you can go to as much or little effort as you like with your colors and that's looking great so I'll apply another color range And back to the color palette. All right, so that's looking great. One little last thing I'd like to do is just click on my background layer again, image, adjustments, replace color. And I'm just going to apply some neutral colors to these bits of green at the front here because I think they are a little distracting. So I'm just going to choose a neutral color, take the saturation down and hit OK. And I'll just do that a couple of times until I get all the greens that I don't want to be there. And I think one last time should get it. Alright, 
So that's just to show you how to change the background simply and effectively. And I think it's the most realistic um, adjustment that you can do in Photoshop to achieve this sort of look. And I will make another tutorial on how to get all that glowy effect in lighting. Um, but for this one, it's just to show you the color change. Thanks so much for watching.